any all the damage and obstacles mean it's going to be some time before crews can get to them, fix the issues and restore their power. And of course, we know this is frustrating and exhausting for people who don't have power. We've been hearing from viewers all over the Sierra and the foothills today. Some reporting the PG&E has sent them uh, notices telling them that they won't even see utility crews until January 10th. Yeah, well over a week from now. We have team coverage of the Sierra snow. Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan is tracking where this system is now. And first, let's start with KCRA 3's Orko Mana. He is live in El Dorado County, where residents say basically all they can do is wait. Well, this is really upsetting for the people here who have no power. We have our light on, but if we turn it off, this is what a lot of the homes look like in this area, just in complete darkness. Meanwhile, PG&E says they're working to fix the issue. Let there be light, <laughs> battery light. <laughs> Sharon and Ed Donald are using lamps and candles to try and brighten up their El Dorado County home off Sly Park Road. Although they have a generator, not everything works and they need more fuel. The main propane tank uh, is just about down to like 20%. There are two of more than 48,000 PG&E customers across the region still without power since Monday following the massive snowfall in the Sierra. We have power outages a lot, but that usually comes back on not two, three, four days the most. But this time they got a phone call saying PG&E would come out to their home by January 10th. Now they feel left in the dark in more ways than one. There doesn't what... seem to be empathy yeah. for people who don't have what they need. And they say the January 10th date is just the beginning. They don't even start working on it. They just uh, uh, come out and see what's wrong. And that was a little troubling. PG&E is sending KCRA 3 a statement saying in part, given the historic snowfall and unprecedented damage and access issues, PG&E has been sending initial estimated times of restoration. These dates are based on initial assessments and the dates are likely to change as we gain access, survey damage and continue the restoration progress. But these are the roads near Sharon and Ed's home, which they say is plenty accessible. It just doesn't seem right that they can't get a crew out before January 10th. It's extremely frustrating. Nancy Ryan is staying at this hotel in Folsom while she waits for power to be restored at her Pollock Pines home. She says there's no reason PG&E should be taking this long. They don't have the crew to come out and address this sooner than they need to contract with third parties or do whatever they can to bring as many forces in as possible to get this work completed in a timely fashion. Basically what we have is just the flame. While the Donalds try to stay warm, they have one main question. Where's the accountability? We asked PG&E specifically about the January 10th date, but they did not address it. They did tell us that they are working with multiple crews and first responders to restore that power. Reporting live in Pollock Pines tonight, Orcomana, KCRA 3 News.